This video is about balls. Alright, let's get started. So, the last devlog I briefly showed this, which is what I call the bubble babies. And this actually had a, an origin from a frog swinging grapple, which I'm actually gonna show you now. So yeah, in the cloudy sky level, there's this mechanic called the air bubble, which we will actually see very soon. Here we have the air bubble. So what it does is it allows the player to propel yourself in the other direction. And this is a very fun mechanic, I really like that. The thing is, it's like, it's just a bubble, like, we don't know where it came from. And it kind of got me thinking, is there a way to explain that? Like, hmm, how did these things form and why do they do the things that they do? Like, why do they explode? So my brain, like, came up with a very weird uh, reason, a very strange reason. And it's because they're actually brute and they explode is because they're trying to spread its seeds around like it's dandelion and then my brain kind of just went on, on a whole tangent about making up stuff and trying to explain things like hmm why is the player able to stand on clouds is it why does a why is the cloud solid Hmm, why if these clouds aren't actually clouds but actually cotton? Which is another form of plant and that's why it's solid and player can stand on them. Oh wait, what if, what if the clouds are actually clouds? And the reason the player can stand on them isn't because they're actually standing on them. And that's because they're actually standing on the branches of a very very tall trees that reaches into the sky. And the reason there's clouds flock towards them is because these branches are very thin and very dense and that's why clouds flock towards them and that's also how they form in real life is because there are very small particles in the air and that's how clouds form into the cloud that we see. And yeah, that's why I also decided to include these branches in the tile set and even in the water as well. Like, can you can you see can like can you see the vision? Can you see what I'm trying to do? And the reason the trees want to have clouds flock towards them is because they need to have rain happen very often to store its soil and get a lot of the water source. And before I went on to make up even more nonsense about this made up ecosystem, my brain kind of snapped back to reality and uh, realized I was making a game about a bipedal frog going on. A weird adventure and all of this isn't really necessary so I kind of just stopped. Here's the bubble berry in-game and uh, all of this functionality is uh, I actually coded it yesterday and what it does is, is that you can boom like uh, it's exactly what it does back in Frogger Swing Grapple but like I made it way fancier like though it actually only able to let you push yourself forward in two directions. I still feel like overall the particles and the effect really uh, sells it for me. Oh, and the enemies can interact with it as well. Which is another good thing is that I also have this uh, already existing rollables, which I thought could maybe be expanded upon. And the air bubble just happens to be a round objects so I kind of just combine them so now the players not only can draw on them they can also boom like explode them and use them as a platforming thing they are just duplicated that and another rolling object you may notice is this cog and uh, this I decided that should be a heavy object so as you can see whenever a frog lands there's a shock wave like a little smoke coming out. Uh, it doesn't actually act as a shock wave yet, like it doesn't do anything. But uh, it, it's maybe a thing I will do in the future. What it currently does actually is it impacts your movements. Like you're gonna feel way more heavier than uh, if you didn't have this cog in your mouth. <laughs> 
you're gonna feel way more heavier than usual because uh, you're holding this very heavy object and it also impacts you on the water and which makes you like sink way faster than usual and this also applies to a bubble berry as well like you actually flow like you just flow uncontrollably so yeah these are the cool uh, two cool rollable things that I made uh, after the first day one and that's about it I look at the ball objects from Burden Venture and noticed that they all function the same despite their appearances and thought maybe I should do something more with them and that's why I made this tool and oh there's also this bell thing which I made a texture for which I thought hmm, maybe it could be a, a cool concept where uh, the you know the goal bell is broken and the player has to roll it towards the goal to fix the goal but uh, I don't know maybe I could see myself use that in the future but no guarantee anyway I'll see you in the next level.